Okay, hello Leos, welcome to your horoscope for March 2022. So we've got, for this month, you've got on the 7th, um, Mars and Venus is going to be in your 7th house. So this is going to be, I feel like, a push and pull with relationships. On one part it is going to be good, on the other half there could be a slight chance of arguments and mishaps, um, missteps, miscalculations, I feel like, to do with relationships coming up for you for this month. Uh, on the 10th, you've got Mercury, which is going into your 8th house. So this could be good for um, signing any sort of financial contracts um, or inheritance, get planning, like maybe inheritance, taxation, anything sort of communication in terms of money from other people uh, could be quite quite good. 28th, that Mercury is going to go into your 9th house. Then you're more of a focused or thinking about more education, spiritual travel, you know, you might try and do... Um, something new to a new course um, be open to new things in terms of spirituality even with that planet there um, and then you've also got where the bigger planets are you do have Pluto in your sixth house so that's the house of health so that, that can bring about a little bit of health issues coming up you've got Saturn in your seventh this is again this is not good for relationships um, it's going to cause problems with relationships too I feel like there's some broken hearts out there a little bit there Leo's um, Jupiter is in your 8th, which is um, Jupiter and Neptune in your 8th, so that's good for money. Um, well, Jupiter is good as luck, so that's going to bring in money for you. Neptune can take it away. Um, so you've got these two planets. So Jupiter will be in there um, uh, pretty, much, uh, pretty much the whole year. Neptune's sort of got a while ago before that leaves. But yeah, so you got, it should ease off any money issues, but you're still going to have a little bit there. Then in your ninth house, so house of travel, learning psychic, you got Chiron. So Chiron is where we learn that we use that pain, that emotional pain. Maybe you really want to get in your heart so then traveling and it's not working out for you or your study hasn't been going very well there, Leos. And then you've got Uranus in the tenth. So unexpected, unusual in your career, which could be quite good. I like Uranus. Okay. So when I look at the cards there, Leo's, I do feel like there's a sense of um, there's a thing of money coming up for, for you for this month. There's also a thing about signing um, signing a new contract, and I feel like this is to do with your work. I feel like there's something coming up for work about signing contracts coming up. And there's, a, and there's a bit of a tug of war there with the work and your career. You're in a bit of a, a dark place um, coming up here. In terms of career, you're kind of feeling like you're a little bit trapped, but I feel like there's a um a little bit of conflict conflict there. But there's something about you looking over contracts or signing contracts that are coming up, but definitely like, a, like an arm wrestle tug of war. Um, it's like you're really trying to prepare or keep your throne. Uh, you're really trying to sort of be on guard, but there's like you're guarding money almost too, you're guarding your your finances as well there Leo's um, and you were trying to look, tune into your, your intuition about what you're doing um, as well and I also feel like you're trying to um, lure like you're luring something coming in like you're um, trying to like uh, it's like this, this one here where the, the cat is trying, he's bringing, feeding the birds, so he's luring them in. So it's like a luring, you might be luring, you might be the one trying to lure someone else in um, as well. And there's also a lot of growth for you for this month too. Hmm. Okay, so let's go to the family. There's definitely communication talks this um, for this month um, to do with siblings. Um, so it's definitely a key for communication, sit down, talk, or, or share some light on some stuff as well coming in for this month. And I really feel like you're going to talk about some deep and meaningful things there. There's also, um, through family, there's just, there's a reason thing about money. So it could be like some financial thing coming into family this month for you, Leos. Um, or not trying to waste any money, or trying to throw money away. Um, there's also about, I feel like maybe this is about the house, but looking at detailing. Or looking at certain details this month there for you Leos. It is a, a way you're trying to really recreate a very homely home that you're trying to do but also plan 
um, as well. Let's have a look here for friends. Hmm. Okay, so I just get you might be a bit grumpy with friends this month. It's a grumpy look on this cat's face. So it's about grumpy. You might want to push some people away this month. Like you just want to be independent and by yourself at times. Um, and you might just be in, in a not good mood when it comes to friendships this for this month there. Leo's, let's look at relationships. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so we got these two cards. So I feel like this month, it's like it's almost like you're running away. It's almost like you're retreating, you're running away. You've um, you've had a bit of a battle here with love, with love and relationships. It's it's and this could be even to do with the friends as well, where you're trying to isolate from friends. It's like things are not really being planning out the way you've been thinking it has been, and it's like the time now is to sort of retreat. So I say you're you're running away, and you it's like you can't go back now. Um, and your it's like this relationship's kind of done. You kind of you're kind of done with it at the point at the moment, and it's only an option left is just to sort of fly fly away. I might just put a couple of cards out for you. It's very harsh. You want freedom. You, okay, more cards. Same thing. You want freedom. You definitely want freedom. You want out of this relationship. I do feel like. Um, and you're definitely going in. It's like you're taking your money and running away into going into a better a better better place for those who are single I, I kind of feel like you are moving into a better place like you're being very self-assured you have got uh every reason to be stronger now you're, you're more independent you're definitely moving forward into a new area of your life um where you're more assertive in, instead of thinking what you actually want let's look at um money you're actually, I really feel for you financially, you're actually go, like you're changing your direction, your finances, and you're going into a better, a better way, a better road. Um, someone's going to try and deter you and try and convince you to go a different way, different route. But the way you've got your head, where you're deciding to, it's, it's really, it's the way uh, which I feel it's going to be good for you to, to go, to go there. Let's have a look here. Um... Travel could be coming up on the cards. I do feel like travel could be coming up on the cards for you. Because I definitely like you're looking for something. You're, so this could even be traveling as well. Or you're even you're searching for um, in terms of spirituality, a big higher, higher realm, higher being. But there's definitely a search coming on. So travel could be on the cards for you. Or planning something big could be coming up for you. Now in terms of health. I want to say be careful with my heart for some reason there, Leo. So I say, I'm a doctor, and think going on, please go and see one. But I get like heart, I get head, I get a lot of clarity, um, mental, because I feel like whatever these situations, these relationships, once you move away, it's going to get more clarity for you. Okay. It's like you want to be your own boss at times too, Leo's. Yeah. All right, let me just see if I can get a channel for you. Let's have a look. Okay, Leo's. At times you're very stubborn, you're uniquely and stubborn and you're your own worst enemy at times. You've got to put yourself aside, you've got to take the next leap into the next step in your life, whether it be this in relationships or your work. It is time for you to grow up, it is time for you to take a, take a step forward into where you're going to go. Believe in yourself, believe that the dream that you want to have will come true, you need to work out making this happen. Sometimes money can burn into a hole in your pocket for your finances can be sometimes roll out of control. But this is the time and this is the month now where you need to bring it in and seek control of what you of what you want and out of this life and going forward. You can do this, Leos. It's all in your hands. Now it's time to take action. Now it's time to move on. Now it's time to start something new. Now it's the time to really go where you really want to go. Okay. okay. Um, so thank you for your comments um, and your likes and sharing. And I will see you for your next horoscope, Leo. So I hope you have a really good um, month. So bye for now.